Hello guys, as you may know, um, since a few days, I think maybe more than a week now, uh, Tower Defense is a public minigame, which means you can play it in uh, an official room, so, well, not an official room, but just in a normal room, so let's go to Tower Defense so I can show you. Oh, that's not how you type room. Tower Defense, and you type it with an S and not the C. Uh, there is with a C is good as well. Only uh, we take in account that it's an S. And here you see a public room where you can play tower defense. So I decided to make a tutorial for you guys, so you guys know how to make tower defense maps. So let's first start off by going to map editor. It's fairly simple. Now what you need to do is you need to go to this web page. This is the forum page where you can submit your maps and we will go there. And I will select the English one so you can understand it. So here it explains a bit about tower defense and which room you go go to. And here is the map submission thing. You should read this if you don't plan to watch the episode further. But first thing you need to do, you have to start off with this page in code. So you copy that, you load it, and you get this code. So let's let's load the code and go back to Transmise and load it here. You see nothing happened, but if you um, hold space and drag the screen around, you can see there's a box off screen now. Okay, this this is where the mice are in. This is where they will be teleported from, and the shaman will be in this box. And you have to take um, in account that if you finish your map, you have to place them back in their box. So, when testing the map, of course, you need to take them out. And that's the problem which um, some people had. So now let's um, let me take the Halloween background. I always use this one because um, it already has the right um, proportions and then I can change it to another one later so this way um, the map will be aligned to the border so let's first start off um, the thing you need to do is you need to have a place where the mice spawn you don't have to start here <coughs> but I start there because I like to do things from the start so let's go there. So let's see what type of map should we make. I think I should make um, a grass type with a nice blue background. So let me do that. So I'm going to make a grass type with a nice blue background. So as usual I'll, ma I'll make the ground that size that it has the grass edges. So I like that. Okay where should we make them start off. Let me, let me guess I'll, I'll make them start off here. So let's see how that looks. Oh, it's a bit too high, so let's make it 40. It doesn't look that good. Okay, that looks a lot better. So now what I do is, now I want the mice to spawn here. So how do I do that? I will get a green nail. Oh, I'll, I call it a blue nail, but it's a green nail, although... And you put that at the border of the grass ground. This way, the portal will spawn here. The the bot will know that you have placed a blue anchor here and the portal will spawn there and the mice will come out there so to be sure that the mice don't get killed the moment they spawn in the map you have to protect the area where they spawn I usually use a 50 by 50 cloud ground but you can also use other types of course you can uh, I've seen people who covered up the whole ground and in some maps it's better so okay, let's see. Uh, we will make them start off here, and they will have to go that way. So I think I will add a nice jumpy part here, and a wall jump part at this side, and then they can easily get up there. So let's first do the wall jump part, and then bother about the bottom part, because the bottom part has to be uh, pretty easy actually, but easy to block off as well. Um, okay, so let, let me make this shorter because it looks a bit funky or, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, 160 I think should do. Yeah, and put it on the same line as this ground. Usually I uh, get in the rectangle ground. I'll put it uh, on the same level and then align it nicely. And now it's nicely aligned. 
So now the mice will spawn there, so I will put the shaman here so I can test a bit. So they will go here. You can wall jump up there. And then they will have to go that way. So I think I will put um, a piece of ground here or something. Yeah, I guess I will do that. Um, I think maybe it would be a nice idea to copy this one and place it there. And then have it aligned. So I will use my rectangle ground again to make it alignable. So yeah, let's do that. Let's align it. Yes, it's a line. Let, let's just keep that ground. So let's see if this jump is even possible. If not, I will make it possible. So this is quite some distance. Okay, yeah, that's that's rather possible. And now I have to also line the top part. Oh, and that was well aligned. Well, I did that pretty well on my on my eyes. Oh, okay, I'll take it. But, uh, but okay, you don't want only one road to the finish. If you get one road to the cheese, it basically means you put one cannon shooter here and everyone is done. And you don't want that, and I don't accept maps with it. So I'm gonna add a pathway here. So we have two pathways, at least two pathways. Um, this one is really hard to defend because it can also go backwards. I don't mind wall jumping backwards, but I do mind if you build off screen that they have to do stuff there. So let's um, see. Oh wait, let's just copy this one and make it smaller. I'm gonna what my idea is is gonna put a ground and constantly make it smaller and leave the distance the same. So let me find a nice distance here. I think that is a decent distance. Now let's make it 160 and place it here. And now let's make it uh, 120, which is also not really hard. And now we have to go to 80, which is uh, pretty simple. You probably have an idea what I'm doing right now. So it will become, become constantly smaller and smaller and smaller. And now the last one, which is 40. And now we have a 40 by 40 ground. Okay, so that's, that's the first part of the bottom. I don't want to have a really complicated one. So let's remove these and see how easy the walking part is. But well, these grounds, the bottom part is really easy to defend at the moment. Because you need to put a tower sh or a cannon shooter and you can defend it basically. So let me make sure they are all on the same level. 181, 181, 182. See, I missed something. Okay, now we want to make the the top part a bit more appealing to go through, or just make a certain pattern. I think I will go here with a, uh, a pattern which constantly uh, happens again. So let's just use a stone. Stone looks really nice when you use a blue background. So we use that. Make it 40 by 40. No, not 40 by 40, I mean uh, make it 40 wide so it has the nice um, whatever you want to call it thingy. Uh, let me make it a bit shorter. Uh, I think 100 will do. Yeah, that will do just fine. And I will add a ground here. So that can show us how far apart it has to be. Now I can duplicate this one and place it here. And I think this will look a bit vanilla like or a bit um, basic, but you don't really have to make um, complicated maps. You can make complicated maps, but most of the time um, that's, that doesn't really fit in. And if you make something which just looks appealing, looks fun to play with, then it's okay. And also, if you make Waldium parts and you want them to be easier, you should add these grounds at the side, which are usually just um, 
sticking out, but they have to stick out at least 10 pixels, or 10p, or whatever, or, or 5, or something. They at least have to stick out a bit, otherwise um, it's rather impossible. Uh, otherwise they are useless, because the, the reason they are there is because if the shaman decides to shoot with uh, cannons, but well, these grounds are used so that if there's a cannon shooter here, you can still get over it. And it's not really that hard. So let me place uh, the shaman over here. Remove these grounds because they use this. And see. Okay, so that one is still above the, the, the stone ground. So let's make this the same um, Y coordinate. So that's 133, and that's 132. Okay, and now lower the C so it's under the ground. Okay, let's make an, a similar version. Let me get the length of this again. I shouldn't have deleted those grounds. <laughs> and put one here again. And copy this one and place it here. And make it the same uh, Y coordinate as that one so it's nicely aligned. I really want aligned maps. If it doesn't, if it isn't aligned, then it looks really bad. That's my opinion. And this one can go out a bit more. Now I place it on the same location. <laughs> Duplicate and put it here. Now let's find uh, y coordinate again. Y coordinate is on the 33. Should have remembered that. Wait, are they both 133? Okay, I got a really good aim. Lol. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's copy that one ground again and start working on the final phase of the map. Which um, is where you place the hole in the cheese. The hole in the cheese has to be on the same location. That's, that's very important that you do that. Um, it looks better and it's more fair because we don't want maps to have too many differences and stuff so yeah they are perfectly aligned okay I'll take it so now let's see how we're gonna do the final phase um, usually it's smart to have the cheese not at the wall jump part so never put a wall jump part right at the end because then that means you turn two pathways into one pathway at the end and he will start only he will only put uh, towers at the end and the whole map you have no problems with any towers and then at the end you will just die because it's a wall zone part so don't do that I choose the maps that get added so if you do that your map won't get added so yeah let's let's just make it like if you go into the cheese you will go into a sort of fortress fortress or something so let's make it out of stone because yeah, stone is awesome. And let's make it I don't know, under sixty or something. I assume that's okay. Let's just place it here. Let's connect it nicely. We place the shaman spawn here so I can walk over it a bit and get a better idea. Okay, so it isn't really aligned with that ground over there. That's something which bothers me. So, I will do something about that. Um, I will probably add a rectangle here. And place this over here. Right there. And now I have to make it a bit longer. So, I probably will make it 200. And have to place it underneath the grass ground. So it looks like it goes in smoothly yes that's perfect okay so now these two grounds end at the same location and it looks a little bit better because uh, it's smoother smoother or whatever um, I think the thing I will do is I will add a ground here and a small stairways up so you got um, stone here, which is 40 wide, and I will constantly add 40 to it, to the height of it, and I will also get the distance between these, so I can use that as a ruler, 
I always do that nowadays because I'm too lazy to check the, um, the XML constantly. Uh, so I'll just do this. And even if it's not completely aligned, it's still, um, it's still, uh, it's really hard to notice. And if I do notice it, I will usually fix it. And it seems I have disconnected. Okay, that's annoying. So let me pause recording and I'm back. Sorry for that. Um, my internet seems to be really an asshole today. So, okay, where was I? I was baking the stairs. So, this looks already pretty nice, I must say. Although it's really basic, and I don't really want more than basic. I wanted the shaman to make it hard. The shaman is there for you, for, for you to make you really angry. So, let's place the cheese here. So, this is um, simple to defend, but you have also an account that I'm going to place something here. So, the people that go over it have an advantage although this is, is a lot quicker so if you put shooters here they will have to go over there although that takes some more time and more effort so now I'll show you how, how I do the, the cheese in the hole first you place the cheese you place the hole right so it doesn't show on top so that way you see it doesn't hit the borders there now you load the C property and it's behind the cheese Ooh. Okay, so now let's see. I think I instead of going up, well, I could still go up. Yeah, let's still just go up. I'll get this one, a copy of this one, and place it here. And align it a bit on I, because I'm too lazy to do codes now. Apparently, I'm good at it. I just noticed that earlier, although this ground needs to be moved a bit. Let me remove these, and let's use the daylight background and see how this looks. It still is a bit bright, but that's because um, I just got the other map which was really dark. So now the thing comes, I am really um, a fan of having the map looked really good. So let's place a tree here, uh, place a tree here, can't place trees there, <laughs> sadly. Put some grass down, more grass, more grass. It looks really nice when you have a bunch of grass everywhere. Uh, yeah, that, that's the wrong location for grass. Let's put some flowers down. Um, a bush. Usually I don't use bushes, but why not? Why not have a bush there? Okay. Uh, it's also nice to have that there, there. Put some flowers next to each other oh, I don't know, I'll just put some flowers there and there and now let's see what we can do here as this is stone so usually there's not much you can do with stone um, can I usually sometimes uh, put these things on them but as you can see here it's too wide so you can't really place them there and this may be this this could look okay, I suppose. Uh, let's see if how that looks. So now the map looks already a lot better, and I can see that there is a ground, a thingy sticking underneath the ground. Because I am too lazy to move it up, I'm going to do something else. I'm going to show you. This is something really important as well. If you use uh, ground which sticks out, so here you can see it sticks out a little bit. But you can make a ground, which you make 1600 long, and you place it under the map, and you align it with the background this way, and you remove both of these options, and we will make the color, uh, the color of the background. So let me get the color of the background. I still don't have it in some color thingy, but I have it here, so that's good. So let's go back, change the color, align it. Now it's aligned. And now, if I unselect it, so if I select this, you can see it's nicely cut out there, and it doesn't stick out. So if you had a weird, a lot of weird ground sticking out, then you don't have it anymore. So okay, let's let's check um, the map around a bit. Let's put the shaman spawn here, and we're gonna check if um, the 
the grass and stuff is aligned. But usually when you place them, they look a lot different than when you actually place them. So let's go back, as you can see here, he, the, the tulip or rose or whatever you want to call it, or whatever it even is, uh, is a bit lower here. Also the tree went a bit to the left, so let me place the tree a bit to the right. Okay, and for the rest I think it is okay. Um, let's just try it out. Let's see if the top part of this is possible. And oh, I nearly failed there. No, I really suck at this game. <laughs> so you guys know, I'm not the best player in the game. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> I'm not the best player. So that was pretty easy. And then, if I'm correct, you should be able to get to the cheese in one time. Okay. Now let's take the easy pathway, which is simple to block off. Yeah, this should be a decent map for tower defense, and it looks good. Although I made it myself, so I'm probably biased. But we're not done yet. You can see that the shaman is over here, and we have to place the shaman back into this box, and he has to be on X800. So now he's on X800, the mice are still in there, you don't have to touch it, because, yeah, you just don't have to touch it. Now, validate, okay, what's the working around work, is there any flaws, any last minute problems with the map? If so, I will tell you, because I will test all the maps, and I will give feedback back about the map, and if I say it doesn't look appealing, I mean, don't resubmit it, it's, it's not good enough, and if you change some stuff it probably won't be good enough yet so you know that and we're gonna export this map to tribe house and go back to the tribe and go stand there and now your map is done so what do you do now you copy the map code you go to the forms and you go you go here and you submit your code and because this is the official forms, you can just log in with your Transmise account and ta-da, you're done. So now, um, thank you for watching, that's one thing, of course, I appreciate that you guys are watching. And if it helped, um, tell me, and if, if you want me to do other things, like um, if you have any suggestions to what I should do, I'll listen to them, although... Sometimes I am busy, so don't spam me. <laughs> so don't spam me suggestions. That's uh, that's a thing. But if you um, suggest it, I usually note it down for later. That's one thing. And yeah, thank you for watching, and see you next time.